Uh, Cohen, obviously uh, a good win on Friday night, absolute thriller uh, at the Kingborough Sports Centre. Obviously, I know myself and JB were pretty excited up in the commentary booth. How did it feel on? The, uh, how did it feel out there on the floor? No, oh, great. I think we had a very good probably second quarter, and then third quarter kind of you know lapsed a little bit. But it was you know a win's a win. At the end of the day, it doesn't show how much you won by. It's just a, you know a win in the right column. It's good. Were you, were you surprised with Magna Gore's air ball were there at the end? Uh, well. We, we did the scout. We knew his, his uh, free throw percentage, so I, I, was, uh, I was happy for it, to say the least. Uh, but as you say, a win's a win, and now you've got Don Bally coming in Friday night. They're going to be tough. Yeah, no, I think they're a really well-coached, really well-drilled team. Like It'll be a big good chance for us, but I think we got it. Absolutely, Friday night at the Kingra Sports Centre. Make sure you get your tickets online um, and get down there because we want another packed house. There's three sellouts in a row, Colm. No, it's, it's great. I think the Hobart... People have gotten like around us straight away. I know in the past that they've been the exact same. So my first year here, it's been real good to you know so see the the love that these guys have for us. It's great. Let's talk a little bit about how you're selling in and how you're enjoying Hobart so far. Obviously, the first half of the day was a nice overcast weather. Now it's raining here as we currently record this. But how are you enjoying Hobart? No, I love it. I love it. Uh, it's, it reminds me of home, like a little bit like Adelaide, which I, I love it. Uh, but I think every place is made by the people. Everyone here is super welcoming, warming to both myself and Jono, who, who we're, you know, we're living together at in our place. But everyone's been super welcoming and warm to having us here. It's been really nice. Oh, you spent time in, in college over in America. How how was that for you? Oh, great. Uh, just you know, that was my first kind of time living away from home, and I was far away from home. It was, but it was it was unreal. Like just obviously, my growth on the basketball court was one thing, but then just being able to grow as a human and as a man off the court was you know important for me, and I would I would recommend it to anyone who has a chance. And from there, you come back to Australia, and obviously you spent some time with with Cairns, not only in the QBL now NBL One North, but also with the Taipans as well too. Yeah, no, that, that too was a great learning experience. That was, you know, just being surrounded by guys that are professionals and live that, that type of lifestyle and what it takes to become, you know, a good NBL player. And I was up there with guys like DJ Newble, uh, Scott Machado, Cam Oliver, Nate Joai, have all had storied professional careers and, you know, doing great things. So being around those guys and, you know, seeing what it takes to be great is, you know, it's inspiring. And, I like, I love my time up there. It was, it was unreal. You mentioned those names, those are big stars in the NBL, I mean, what do you take from their games that you can kind of bring into your own game, so to speak? Yeah, uh, no, I, I think my first year I was up there with DJ Nubu, who was a Defensive Player of the Year, I think someone like that where he's a, you know, a thicker set guard that's not, you know, not blowing by anyone with his athleticism, but understanding, you know, the, the hard work on both ends of the floor and being a, being a great two-way player, that's kind of what I aspire to be, and I think that... You know, in the future, that'll be my role for the Chargers guys and whatever my, my future basketball endeavours are. I think someone like that, where I was just able to pick his brain day in and day out about, you know, little things to do here and where to grab and where to hold and all that kind of stuff was unreal. And was, I learned a lot from him. Of course, you were under Mike Kelly and, and Jamie O'Loughlin, two experienced coaches of Mike Kelly, uh, a former NBL player and a tough, hard, hard-nosed player back in his day and obviously played against your dad. Anything that you take from, say, Mike and Jamie? Of course, two experienced coaches right there. Yeah, no, uh, Mike, Mike came you know, to the group with uh, like a real players, like a playing background, as you said. So that was it's good to see here, the, like the way he thought about things. He was a finals MVP back in his day, so he knows what it, what it takes to win, which is great. And then... Jamie's just a basketball X and O's whiz. He just understands the ins and outs of, of coaching and just how to, what to do in certain situations. So it was great to you know be around both of them, just pick their brains about their specialties and how to put them into mind was you know it was real good for me. And of course, you 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 you've ended up here. Obviously, I, I know our coach here, Anthony Stewart, has good good friendship with your dad and obviously all the connections galore. It, you know, was was Hobart a destination for you, did, or did you have other NBL one clubs trying to chase you as well too? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of uh, NBL clubs that have like I've had coaches. Obviously, back in Adelaide where I grew up, there's QI Communications with there, and I got my little brothers playing in uh, in that same league too. So it was part of me wanted to get back there and play with him, which is was always you know a great time to play with family, but. Um, as there's options up in Cairns, options everywhere else, but I think Hobart, at the end of the day, with uh, like the winning culture that we have down here and what, like, what's expected of us, was a great challenge and a you know, great environment to be in. Um, and then obviously, like with Stewie, who's a very storied coach and understands what it takes to win as well, it was just a perfect fit. I'm happy to be here. And of course, you've been and you got and you're playing up in um, Devonport too in the NWBU. How are you finding the local kind of, which is probably the strongest you know state league in in the in the state right now. Oh, 100%. I, I was, before I came down, I'll be honest, I didn't know much about the NWBU competition as a whole, uh, but being up there and seeing just how into it the locals are up there and, you know, everything's done very professional, 
it, like to, to the highest standard that it possibly could be. And I think it's great. It gives young players that we're surrounded with here and up, up there as well that just it gives them something to strive to and it gives them something to look up to every weekend to see, you know, their players that are playing in their men's team that have grown up playing for their junior clubs. It's, it's really something to strive to and we've got players on my team up there who are, who are young guys, under 16s, 18s players that have really proven their worth to our club and they're like, it's it's great, it's a really good pathway for those young guys. Have you been able to offer a bit of a, a mentor kind of role to those younger ones up there and provide some, some guidance and, and advice? Yeah, I, I have been actually. I've been lucky enough to be the under 18s coach up there for their, their local club. We've actually got one of the one of my men's teammates is on that team as well, so being in his ear and he's a he's a young young gun that'll be, you know, some gives people some havoc in a few years, I'm sure. But it's been great. I've, I've loved being able to just be around young, like the young players and see obviously what I can bring to them, but also what they bring to me, like understanding best ways to get messages across. Like I learn as much from them as they do for me sometimes, it's great. Let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about your dad. Obviously, your dad has had a very storied career himself. Obviously, pl playing with a couple of clubs, a championship winner. Um, I'm not sure how 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 old or how young you were able to remember those kind of days. But when I look back through the footage in the archive drive that I have, um, is there anything that you take off from your old man's game that you might be able to bring in, or is it just having a bit of a good laugh and remembering some good times with your dad? Uh, yeah, so he he won three with Adelaide. I think the I was one one of them I wasn't born yet, the second one I was a couple of days old and the third one I was about two or three. So uh, he'll he'll make sure I remember him. Uh, he'll make sure I never <laughs> a day doesn't go past when it's not brought up. But uh, no, nah, I've him just being able to oh, also me having the luxury to have someone like that in my life, both him and my, my parents just understand what it takes to get to that next level. Um, both of them doing very successful in their jobs outside of sport now and they you know, they teach myself and my little brother just kind of what it takes to be good at, at what you do so just constant hard work in every aspect of what you're doing and everything you do has to be 100% so you know in a few years time I just want to make sure that I can set, I can tell my kids that anything I did I did with 100% effort and I hope to you know carry that lesson that my parents told me to my kids in the future and whoever I'm surrounded by it's been been great. So it's wonderful to hear, Cohen. Um, so the, obviously the next step for you, obviously you're playing in NBL 1, you're getting this exposure now, um, obviously NBL, Europe, maybe even the NBA, is that, is, is that definitely the goal for you? Yeah, I mean as long as I can make this sport I love, you know, my full-time job, that's, that's any kid's dream, right? So I think obviously being around my family and like my dad who's played in this sport before, I think from day one I've been emphatic about basketball and wanted to make sure that I could do whatever I can to play basketball as, as a profession. So anything I have to do now to, to make sure that that's, you know, that dream comes a reality, I'll be more than happy to do. But I think if I have to take a step back and realise what that means, it's, it's taking every day as, as his day in itself. So like put a one, one foot in front of the other, making sure that everything I do is for the best way that I can help my Chargers team now win games. So that's what I focus on doing. And lastly, obviously, um, I know you get tagged in a few in a few clips, and obviously you hear me and JB on the commentary. You must be loving the um, the Trinity College shout, shout out, and then obviously the bank you hit late on that shot clock, and we said it with the miracle play there. You, you, you kind of, I know, I know, it's, you you, you kind of have to shut that out. But you know, afterwards and, and whatnot, when those clips come through and you have a look at it yourself, do you kind of have a bit of a chuckle at what we do upstairs? Yeah, I love it. I love it. And my, I've got. Uh, Obviously, friends from that, that I played basketball with back at back at Trinity College, back in my high school, they, they love it as well. They, they love the shout out, and I think it's great. I've got a uh, my old man works at the school as well, so he's happy. To, he's happy to get the shout out as well. He loves it. Uh, fantastic to hear, Cohen. Cohen, I, obviously great that you're enjoying your time here in Hobart, and you know. Hopefully the boys can keep doing well right now. You're, you're three and two at the moment, looking to make it four and two on Friday. Best of luck for the rest of the season ahead. No doubt we'll keep catch up with you throughout the season, mate. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.